back to my channel, Gemini. Thank you for returning. I am Crystal. Um, if you guys are new and clicking on this, welcome. So we're going to be doing your reading uh, for you and them, Gemini. All right. See what energy surrounds you and your person, whoever it could be, however it resonates with you. You guys know if this does not resonate at all to go check out your other signs your rising and your moon so i hope you guys have been doing well yes i do so it's during the day here my kids are outside they might come in and out so excuse the background noises but it is what it is because i gotta do what i gotta do you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right so Let's get started. Spirit, what do we have for Gemini and their person? What messages can you give them to better uh, reflect on their situation? You know, to give them insight to whatever it is that they need for the situation. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for you, Gemini? One more shuffle here, like this. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. All right, let's begin. All right, Gemini. So Gemini, okay, you got the lover's card out. Ow, my hair. <laughs> you have the lover, lover's card out, the King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? So I'm really definitely feeling here that you are kind of in your power, Gemini, with the lovers being here. Um, I'm getting a sense of you coming to be in yourself, be who you are, right? Lovers is Gemini energy. So you are all in your energy. I feel like you're definitely grabbing onto that, kind of staying firm with that. Your emotions with this, I feel like are um, pretty solid, okay? Like you're getting in tune with yourself. You're getting in tune with your emotions. You're getting in tune with all the things, your intuition, all the things that are needed to better who you are, Gemini, all right? And that's gonna bring on, that's gonna bring on some kind of foundation. That's gonna bring on some kind of building, structuring of something, right? Moving up. I feel like, Gemini, you are moving up, okay? <clears throat> you know, and making like maybe the, your relationships with whoever you have stronger. I, I don't get a sense that this is a particular person. I think you're wanting to make the relationships that you have with anybody Okay, any connection that you got stronger. And I feel like it is going to be stronger because you're owning your power. You're owning who you are. You are knowing that, okay, what whatever it is that you have to deal with in the um, emotional side or the feeling side, the love side, whatever that is, what the cup signifies, you're pretty strong and stable in that. I'm getting a very, very good sense of you're just being freaking on point. All right, and I'm not saying there's not struggles there that you have to go through or you have to um, wade through, but for the overall, I mean, you are owning it. I love that for you, and I feel like that's what's going to make your other relationships stable. You know, that's what's going to make the other connections you have more grounded and solid because you are feeling good about you, therefore... There's nothing out there that's really going to affect you hardcore, right? So having that power, you can establish more concrete relationships. That's what I'm getting. On the bottom of the deck here, you have the Four of Swords. So I feel like here, you know, overall, you've just been kind of taking a break as well. You know, and maybe taking that break is what's gotten you into this knowing of who you are, where you stand, um, feeling yourself. Okay, I do, I do sense that, and I love that for you guys. That's awesome. Very empowering here is what I'm getting. Very empowering. 
So let's see if this um, affects anybody, you know, in your field. Let's see if this there's anything there that's pertaining to this person or your person. What do we have, Spirit? Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. Happiness. Victory. Oh my gosh. Okay. But it's going to take, it's going to take effort, right? It's going to take effort. You've got the Ten of Cups, happiness. You've got the, uh, what is that? The Six of Wands, so victory. And then you have the uh, Seven of Wands. So what I'm seeing here is that the happiness is surrounding you. So if you are with somebody or dealing with a person or there is a particular person that you have in mind that this is resonating for, I do see there is happiness in your future, okay? And per perhaps that this building of a foundation, building of a relationship, coming together, working together, partnership with that three of coins, I feel like it will bring you happiness. Now, for some of you, this might just be you, <laughs> you know, like, because I am getting a sense of not necessarily this is like a codependent kind of thing that you can bring upon your own self happiness like i am really feeling that okay and i feel like you you, you know that you've accomplished something when you've gotten to that point gemini you know that you have reached some greatness by owning your mess and knowing who you are and walking through with your head held high you know I, that's what i feel like but with this um with this seven of wands hereafter which you know six seven okay i'm seeing the synchronicity in this is that because when you get to this place of like on top of crap you're going to have to deal with a lot of people that are around you that are trying to bring you down that is just how it goes when you are on top of the world when your people sense that and i really do feel like People are there to like try to break you down. But I feel like you're not going to let that happen. Like you're really defending that about yourself. It's like, okay, you want to come at me? Fine, whatever. If there's a person in particular that's around you that's trying to come at you, you know that you're going to be good. You know you're going to be fine and you don't need any of that. Like you're willing to look at it and observe it and see it and, and okay, yeah, all right, that's what's going on. Fine, that's how you're going to be. Okay, but you know, it's not going to bother you. Heck, it's not gonna bother you, Gemini. You are gonna be like, okay, let it roll off your back and you're gonna keep on moving. But I would expect that being on such this high vibration that you are going to get people that are going to come at you and you just need to be ready. So just be prepared, be prepared for that. People, a person, anything like that. Something's gonna come where you're going to have to, you know, kind of fight back in a way, you know, not physically fight back, but you, you're gonna have to fight for that victory, that feeling, and keep it there. <clears throat> because there's the happiness is around you. Like, oh my gosh, like I am so feeling giddy right now, Gemini. I feel like you are just really on top of the world, owning your mess, you know, pretty balanced. Overall, um, yeah, be ready because I feel like people are, are going to try to come in and tear you down, tear that foundation. See, like you're sitting here trying to build something, create something. Somebody's going to come and want to tear this down and knock it over. And you're just going to be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you're not doing that today. Uh-uh, you can go somewhere right now. <laughs> Mm. Oh, my goodness. So I have the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon card out for you. Okay, so I'm really feeling like you know you're since you're in this power, right? You're in and you're in doing your thing or whatever you're doing. But I feel like I feel like that this was a process for you. I don't feel like this is something that ha happened overnight where you just bam got this power. I feel like you definitely were asking questions about who, about yourself, about what your situation is, about anything like that. Um, if this is in regards to that person, I do feel like, um, you know, questioning the relationship, questioning, is this right for me? Should I go on this path? Should I be led down this road? And kind of taking it all in, you know, trying to see the light, trying to see your way, 
of where this is going to be projecting with the hermit card and i feel like with the queen of swords you know you're wanting that trust you're wanting that knowledge you're wanting that to come in because i feel like you're on this um idea of uncertainty in some way even though you're certain for yourself there is still that idea of uncertainty of what path you um are are really should be taking here i feel like you're going to be facing you will be facing a lot there is things that you need to face there's things that are under you know with the moon energy here which is pisces energy the hermit card is virgo energy um but i am feeling like there's something that needs to be brought to the light okay you have things that are underneath that that you might be dealing with emotionally um and maybe you're just keeping them to yourself maybe you're not really you know being that hermit mode maybe you're you're not really divulging out what it is but you know what it is and i feel like that's something that needs to be you know faced and it needs to be brought to the light because i feel like you're going to be walking down the path that you know you should be walking down when you face that you see there's the path in the moon card here so i feel like once this once this inner reflection is happening and then you finally gain that knowledge of knowing you're able to walk down that path and you're able to just go and go into the sunset go into the sunrise whatever it is and just basically go into the sun um so yeah but i feel like this is still you know a journey for you of course but being that you are more centered on who you are and having a little more um passion behind you behind behind who you are like the relationship that surrounds you if there is a relationship or the people like i just don't i don't feel like that it's going to you know I don't feel like it's going to hinder anything. I feel like if anything, it's going to build up and you're going to build a more solid foundation. Not doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be with this person forever. I just feel like overall your relationships will be more solid because you're being honest with yourself. <clears throat> and I think you're still on this journey of who you are. I mean, I know I guys like Gemini, like these are just the messages that I'm getting. I do understand that this is a, you know, I, this is a you and them, but I'm really getting a sense overall in this particular reading that this is about you and you, <laughs> this is about you and you, although the relationships around you, you know, are going to be stronger. So here we have the four coins, the six of coins, and the judgment. And off gate, I'm going to tell you this, what I know, what I, it just came to me. The four of coins and the six of coins, if you look at this, look at this, look at this, okay? You see that? that? What does that look like to you? That instantly reminded me of a mirror. That re instant re instantly reminded me of a reflection. So i'm really thinking that you went you have been and you or you are in this mode of really kind of like going within kind of just keeping to yourself being a little bit um closed off if you will um and maybe that's just because of your financial situation possibly but i'm really getting an overall feel that you know you're being closed off to others right but I'm telling you, you, you're in your power, you're feeling good, and nothing, nothing's going to stop anybody from coming in and ruining that. So I'm feeling like, okay, so maybe this is the kind of energy that you're feeling here with being very closed off, being very, like, I'm going to hold on to everything that I got. You know, I get a sense of worry, like you don't want to lose anything. But then over here, you have the Six of Coins, which to me signifies a balance, signifies, you know, a give and take. So it's like, it's like, hey, maybe you were in this energy and you're being faced with being so introverted in some way of, how can I explain it? Like it's right there, like it's in my mind. But you need to, you need to reflect and go into the idea that it's okay to give a little bit of yourself. It's okay because it's a give and take process. It's okay to be, have that, um, have that feeling to want to help others and in return they help you i feel like you might been in a 
or struggling with the idea of, you know, not opening up so much because you're not wanting to get hurt or maybe you're just trying to protect yourself. You're trying to be protective over what you do have. Um, and that's great. Like, I don't feel like that's necessarily bad, but I do feel like it's like also saying, but it's okay to give. It's okay to open up some. It's okay to give some of yourself to others. Like, you don't have to be completely closed off, all right? With the judgment card here, um, I feel like it's, it's, it's like you're trying to make that decision. You're trying to make that call. But I feel like overall, spiritually, you kind of know where you're supposed to be here. You know that you want the balance. You want to be able to do that give and take. You want to be able to give part of yourself. But there's just that energy that just keeps you back um, from wanting to open up completely. And... And that's okay. I feel like, you know, your angels are around you, your guides are around you, and they're guiding you to do what is right. So this path that you're going to go down here in the moon card, after you figure out what it is, what it really is that, you know, <clears throat> is going to make you happy, is going to make you move into the direction that you need to do, that balance will be brought in. So just... Hold on one second. Okay, so, um, anyway, that was my kids. They had a question. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use the Golden Universal here. Find out what other messages are for you, Gemini. Is there any anything in regards to their person or person that they're thinking about, Spirit? Like, because I really don't feel like anything's come out for, you know, your person. Like, I feel like this is really about yourself. Which isn't bad. I mean, because we should love ourselves. And sometimes ourself is the person that we need to be focusing on. Or, you know, thinking about. Figuring out what to do. You know, what's the next steps that I'm going to do for myself. And that's okay. <laughs> okay, Spirit. Thank you. What do we have for Gemini? In regards to the other person. Do we have anything? I feel like something's going to come out. I do. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what I'm getting for you. So I have the Ten of Coins, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Again. And I told you that was your overall energy, right? At the beginning. The person, your person, your person here is somebody that was around you that I felt like brought you a bunch of happiness, that brought you so much you know joy and love and you know just socially i mean i just feel like they gave they gave to you in a way that made you feel full and made you feel like you had all that you could right made you feel like you know whether that was the family whether that was just the intimacy whether that was the just a relationship like they filled your life with a bunch of abundance right they did they did <clears throat> but at the same time, they gave you, I feel like they gave you a lot to think about. I feel like there was a lot of things in this relationship, in that connection, even though they brought a lot of joy, there was a lot of sweeping under the rug. There was a lot of you not really facing some of the truth that was between you guys. Um, I feel like you were kind of just Gemini giving that like cold shoulder, ign ignoring what, what it was kind of deal, let it, trying to let it go, but really you weren't letting it go, okay? Because with the Eight of Swords, you know, I'm just getting like you were being blinded by, you were being blinded, you were being held back, you were being, um, what is the word um restrained you were being restrained from moving into the direction that you possibly wanted to move in whether or not that was a direction with them or whether that wasn't a direction with yourself okay but this energy right here great you did have this they brought a lot to the table with you 
they gave you, I mean, if some of you, you have a family, I mean, they gave you your kids, you love them to death. You know, they brought in, you know, just a bunch of joy and fulfillment. Like I do really feel the love and the fulfillment that you have for this person. But they also brought in this, this eight of swords energy, like, you felt restrained, you felt constricted, and it's like you almost didn't want to even acknowledge that because acknowledging that mean like you, I feel like acknowledging that meant that you would, you felt like it would then like kind of X this part of it out, which, you know, like you didn't want to believe in all this because if you believed in all this, then how could you have all that? But really you can, okay? Because this person did love you, this person does love you, this person, brought you all that happiness and joy but you just felt like you couldn't move forward or you couldn't gain what you wanted to because of all these underlying factors that you were not addressing and then they slowly started to eat at you they slowly started to bother you okay and i feel like you coming into your power you coming into knowing i told you your overall energy was at four of swords so this brought on i feel like this brought on this four of swords energy because i feel like you finally took a break right you finally took a break you like i need a break i cannot yes i love you i care for you but i gotta take a freaking break there is just so much going on in my mind there is just so much going on like i want to further myself and maybe you feel restricted that you couldn't because of this person and although it's not the person's fault because we all make our own choices right we all make the choices that are best for us it should not be dependent on anyone else or anybody's influence you know what makes you happy you should know exactly what it is and where you want to go and not allow others to come in and dictate what it is that you have set for yourself so i feel like you took a break all right and you had a rest and you had to reflect okay and there we are with that four of swords energy that i started off at the beginning which has the overall which has pushed you into the direction on where you are now and what i was just saying about you earlier you're in your power knowing what you are now you can build solid relationships now you can be honest now you can be truthfully you have to still face the things that you need to face through this journey but overall i sense you know there's a victory and you are going to have to you know kind of fight for what's yours you're gonna find that balance and you know it's just what spirit wants you to do okay that's what it is that's what spirit wants you to do <clears throat> what other advice do we have for gemini spirit what advice do we have for gemini So I have the nine of swords out now and the five of cups and the two of swords. So what I'm feeling, what spirit is trying to say to you, all right, is you have a choice here. All right. You do have a choice. You've always had a choice, Gemini. You've always had a choice. All right. And I feel like what spirit is saying is you can either choose to be in your head all right, you can either choose to live through whatever torment, nightmare, whatever you, whatever it is, okay, that is keeping you, that would keep you, because I don't feel like you're there, but that, maybe for some of you, but that would keep you in this stagnant place of not moving. Because this is what the person brought on right this is what your person kind of made you feel like right and if you stay in this energy if you stay in it if you stay in it what's next after the eight well it's the nine and you will just move into this so you don't want to move in that spirit saying you have a choice here you don't have to move into the nine of swords energy you can let go of what it is and realize where you're at you're doing a very good job at it most of you here that I feel like are doing a very good job at it. So in order to avoid that, just make the choice for yourself. Make a choice for you, okay? You have the Five of Cups energy here. So I'm getting a feeling like just not dwell on those things. If you don't dwell on those things, if you don't think about all the losses, all the heartache, or anything like that, um, yes, yes, he's acknowledging them. He's acknowledging them. I feel like he's knowing that they're there. 
but you know he's got the other two behind him that are still sitting upright um and i'm feeling like spirit just saying just don't hover over those three cups so long okay yes take a look at them yes you know that they're falling over and then turn around and pick up those other two cups and be on your merry way go over that bridge and have a happy life happy ending whatever it is okay so kudos to you gemini um own your crap on it because i feel like you are and i hope that helps if it resonates let me know leave me a comment down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and i will see you later gemini bye